<laughs> this guy. <laughs> Instructions. All right. Get a tux on. A tux? Oh yeah, babe. All right. Get your ironing board out. White, black, Whatever gray. Whatever you want. I have many. <laughs> Whatever you desire. What color? What are you wearing? I'm wearing like a baby blue. And you have 40 minutes. All right. You got some time. Yes. <laughs> All right. You're crazy. I love that Sam's here. Right? Sam the man. I was just saying he needs to be in New York. Hey, Sam. Like, is it aggressive to wear a white tux? No. Or should I wear it? You could totally wear a white tux. Really? Why not? Ralph Lauren. No better time. Snap. No better time. I was actually wondering if I last weekend should have like dry cleaned any of your tuxes, but then I was like, how the f would yeah, I know which tux he would want to wear? Because he's got how many tuxes do you have? Uh, before I moved to New York, I never had a tux, and I, I had only rented one once, actually twice. One for a friend's wedding, and this that my shoe fell apart and the sleeve fell up. Um, I had none, and then I DJed one of. Or we did that thing for J Crew, remember? And I got a tux, and now I have like five or six. But I still have yet to purchase a tux. That's insane. I'm hoping to never purchase one. The only thing that would change is if I get oops, like fat, which I'm also planning on not doing. <laughs> Anytime soon. You're insane. Um, so anyway, I did not know what tux to... And then I was like, should I send all of them to the dry cleaning? Then I was like, I don't even know if I know the difference between a tux and a suit. And then if I had sent them to the dry cleaner and they were the wrong ones, I would just be like... The real wild card here is that my tux shirt might be at the office. What? Like the full office. But I don't even know if that's real. It's the proper, <laughs> proper shoot. By the way, this is his stance whenever he like goes low. The coach's stance. The coach's stance. I, I think you could like wear a t-shirt under that, no? Like mm -hmm. a cool tux? A cool tux? You want me a cool tux? No, no, I'm just saying if you don't have a shirt. I mean, I know that you're gonna pull off whatever I just, yeah. I don't even know why I'm in injecting my two sets, okay. but. Clock's ticking, you know, you got about 25 minutes to be ready. Maybe five. This is already pretty. I guess it needs a little iron. I had a feeling you were gonna whip your iron out. <laughs> Black tie. I thought it was gonna be like a cool dinner somewhere with some friends. Oh, yeah, that's what you thought after seeing my glam? No, once I saw that, I was like, oh, okay, it's like some consensus. Babe, you're 40 years old. I know, I know. <laughs> Where are you going to iron? Uh, I think there's a plug right here. Is there a plug around here? <laughs> Where's my tuck shirt, though? I hope it's in the office. Luckily, not much ironing needs to happen here, though. Ironing is extremely fulfilling. I'm not sure if you're an ironing man, Sam, but so fulfilling immediately. I was like, let's clean up the house. I'm like, you never say that. Why are we cleaning up? It's like, are people coming over? She's like, they might at some point. I'm like, oh. So then I didn't know if you're like having a party here, but I'm like, how are you having a party here if we're not like setting anything up? I love how the tennis footage worked out. It looked sick though how it worked it out. Right. No? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was like, was you like should have seen me run around. Angles, Everyone's right? like, what are you doing? I'm like, setting the camera, setting the camera, yeah, setting yeah. the camera while we were playing. The most painful thing I've ever done. Wow. This is 40. You're looking all right. Actually. Full tassels. Velvet tassels. Jimmy Choo's. Those are my favorites. From zero to hero. Pretty damn quick. I don't even like understand what's gonna happen here. And I, the, the, the fact that you're here is insane. I was gonna go to Mexico City for Halloween, and I was like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "Oh, the Jonas Brothers are playing." I'm like, "Oh, to a show," and she's like, "What? Like, you have to be back on Friday." Like, oh. But then she rolled out the birthday trip, so I was like, "You can't really do much more than that." All right, birthday hair. 
Okay. My grandfather's scarf for the fun touch. It's a little cold now. Perfect. 40th begins. This has all happened within 10 minutes. <laughs> Maybe 15. Actually, what time is it? Time to go. To I don't know where. <laughs> Let's do it. She's like, ha ha, I catch. <laughs> it's like, too bad you only got for 40 minutes. <laughs> That feels crazier than the Lambo almost. Woo! Woo! <laughs> So over the weekend, probably one of the craziest things kind of ever happened to me happened on an emotional level. Hannah surprised me for my 40th birthday. You probably I saw the vlog before. She surprised me with a trip the weekend before to Mystique, um, which was crazy over the top. Got 10 friends together, got me to the airport, right to the gate without knowing where we're going. Then I thought we were going to St. Lucia. We got there. We were actually going to Mystique on another plane. Just whole crazy experience and Hannah, I love you. That was wild, thank you to those guys for coming on that trip, super crazy. But then we got back to New York. It was Halloween, I DJed a party, overserved myself, was really struggling on Thursday, thinking like Friday, I'm just gonna chill, which I did, just stayed in, didn't do anything. And then Saturday, knew Hannah was up to something because I tried to make some plans and she was like, don't make any plans. I've got something, I'll give you instructions later. So I was like, all right, cool, that's great. So sat around all day, we went out, had some lunch, walked around, 
And then she's like, let's clean up the house. Might have a few people over at some point. I was like, cool, awesome. Maybe we're having little drinks over here, not sure. And then at 7.30, the door rang, Hannah answered it, and my videographer and editor, Sam, love you, thank you for doing all these videos, walked into the apartment, I was like, whoa, this is crazy, what are you doing here? So then I was like, oh, something cool must be happening, and Hannah said, go put a tuxedo on. And I'm sure you've all worn a tux to prom, to a formal, to a wedding, something, you have to go to black tie. But like, just to wear a tux suddenly out of nowhere is, I don't know, for me, I'm always like mentally prepared for the evening. I'm like, I'm gonna have a tuxedo, have my shirt ironed, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, went downstairs in 15 minutes, ironed my shirt, got ready, looked pretty damn good if I say so myself. Um, just kidding, but in 15 minutes, pretty happy to turn that around. So then got shooed out the door and walked out the door. I thought we were going somewhere and Hannah had arranged for an Aston Martin to be parked in front of the house, a Super Leggero, which was just an insane $380,000 car that I got to drive for 40 minutes to take me to the next location. So a bit of a treasure hunt. Also threw me off the trail, which is an important note. I got in, sped off, we went, took some photos, cruised around, went to Brooklyn really quick, got caught in some traffic on the way back, I was supposed to be somewhere at nine sharp, arrived 15 minutes late, but car's pretty fun to drive, you know I like cars, so that was great. Got out of the Aston Martin in my tuxedo, which just feels bossy AF by the way. Met Hannah on the street, walked into this building, looked like an office building, up to the seventh floor, and then one of the craziest experiences, ugh, getting a little choked up talking about it. One of the craziest experiences of my life was to open some doors, walk through behind my wife into a room of my family, my mom, dad, my sister, her husband, all my friends, like all my best friends, everyone. I consider myself have a lot of best friends. I consider myself having a lot of best friends because there's so many people who are so important in my life. And all these people flew from Canada, Los Angeles, took it out of their schedules and their time to come spend my 40th birthday with me um, and a lot of their friends, which is important. And I think, you know, everyone knows we threw a good party and it was a great party and everyone got pretty lit and had a great time, but it was just awesome to see everyone come together and celebrate a huge occasion for me have a great weekend in New York for themselves, which is kind of tough for me. They were all in the city the night before Friday and I didn't get to hang out with them. So that, you know, is a whole other story. Anyway, I love all you guys. Thank you so much for making the time, the effort to be there. So cool. I hope you all had a blast. Hannah, you are just the best wife anyone could ever ask for. That was way above and beyond. You set the bar way up here, which is hopefully out of this screen. And I'm just so blown away, so impressed by everyone for making the effort, the time, and just the whole experience. I can't really describe it. Uh, yeah, emotional on a lot of levels and just pretty much the fucking coolest thing anyone could ever do. The James Bond theme party was so fun. There were poker chips with my face on it, people. People were betting Brendan dollars. We gotta find those. We gotta have a few left over, I hope. Anyway, wild night. Ended up with an after party at our apartment, uh, which is probably the only big party we'll ever have here because after this place gets renovated, I will be way too anal to let that many people be in our home at the same time. Um, but it was amazing. We now have a wall that will get torn out with everyone's signature on it or a few people have made it anyway. I don't know, just insane. That was a wild night a wild week of my life. 40 feels great. I'm excited to be in this decade of my life. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this vlog. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting. This has been an interesting learning experience for me to start vlogging, to get more into this life and share more of these experiences with you. It's uh, Instagram, such a small window into a day and a week and a year and this is just so nice to tell some stories and talk a little more and i appreciate you guys for appreciating it so with that this is my 40th birthday i love you guys everyone thank you see you in my first day of 41.